Hi, I'm Vanessa Chumley and welcome to my backyard. Baby back ribs are a grilling classic and today we're going to put a unique spin on them and make Asian barbecue baby back ribs and wasabi coleslaw. Now as you can probably guess, this meal is packed with some powerful flavors that are going to be great for a crowd. I just picked up everything we need from Shaw's, so let's get grilling. The very first thing I want to do with my baby back ribs, and I like to remind you about this because it's easy to forget, but it's going to make a big difference in the end when we're eating them, and that is to remove the membrane. You're going to find the membrane on the back of the ribs and they cover the bone. You just use the back of a spoon or a knife to loosen the membrane and then it'll easily peel off. Now I always find that it's too slick to use my fingers, so I like to use a paper towel and then it'll pull off no problem. Now baby back ribs need to be done low and slow, so we're going to start them off in the oven. We don't even want to season them yet, we're just going to cover them with some Reynolds heavy duty wrap all the way around and then we're gonna put them in the oven at 300 degrees for about 90 minutes. Now, if we put them right on the grill, the outside would get crispy before the inside even had a chance to cook. So by doing this, we're gonna ensure they're cooked perfectly. The dressing for our wasabi coleslaw is just mayonnaise, rice wine vinegar, sugar, garlic salt, brown ginger, and then a little bit of wasabi paste for a kick. Now, I picked up some cabbage and coleslaw from the fresh cut section, and then I'm also gonna add julienne red bell peppers. Here's a secret. Don't julienne your own red bell peppers. Get them from the fresh cut section. They're already ready to go, and you can just toss them all in. So in the end, we're gonna end up with a coleslaw that is smooth, creamy, hot, and tangy all at the same time, and it's gonna go perfect with our ribs. Our ribs are golden brown and almost done, so I'm gonna tell you what I did. I removed them from the oven and let them cool for just a couple minutes so I could sprinkle on the seasoning. Now the seasonings I like to use for Asian baby back ribs is a mixture of garlic salt, ground ginger, and then white pepper. And I sprinkled that on both sides. Then, this is so simple, just put them on the grill. Then you're gonna to start to baste a delicious sesame ginger marinade on the top side. Then you let them hang out and do their thing for five minutes. After five minutes, come back, give them a turn, and then baste the other side. And continue to do this for about 30 minutes. Now, as you're doing this, I have to tell you, I always think nothing's happening. But then all of a sudden, this delicious, crispy, succulent crust develops as the sugars from the sesame ginger marinade caramelize. And the final step is to sprinkle on some golden sesame seeds, and then our ribs are ready to go. So this is the meal that I always serve for a crowd. I think because it's a twist on a classic, it gets rave reviews every single time. For this recipe and even more great grilling tips, visit Shaw's.com.